ముందుగా ప్రియమైన విద్యార్థులు విద్యార్థులకు మరియు వారి తల్లిదండ్రులకు నమస్కారము నా పేరు కె వెంకన్న కె వెంకన్న జూనియర్ కాలేజ్ చైర్మన్ నేను ఈ రోజు టెన్త్ క్లాస్ విద్యార్థులను దృష్టిలో పెట్టుకుని మాట్లాడడం జరుగుతుంది అది ఏమిటనగా మనందరికీ తెలుసు గత రెండు సంవత్సరాలుగా కరోనా కారణంగా విద్యార్థులు ఎటువంటి పరీక్షలు రాయకుండానే పై తరగతులు పంపడం జరుగుతుంది ఫలితంగా ఐఐటి జేఈ మరియు నీట్ లాంటి జాతీయ స్థాయి పరీక్షలను సాధించడం కష్టతరం అవుతుంది దీనిని అధిగమించడానికి మరియు పదో తరగతి పరీక్షలో అత్యధిక మార్కులు సాధించడానికి నేను మీ ముందుకు కె వెంకన్న జూనియర్ కాలేజ్ ప్లాట్ఫామ్ ద్వారా అనుభవజ్ఞులైన అధ్యాపకులచే ఉచిత వీడియో క్లాసులు హ్యాండ్ రిటర్న్ నోట్స్ మరియు గత ప్రశ్న పత్రాల సమాధానాలను విశ్లేషణ ఇవ్వబడను కాబట్టి నేను విద్యార్థులకు చెప్పదలుచుకున్నది ఏంటంటే ఈ ఉచిత వీడియో క్లాసులను మరియు హ్యాండ్ రిటర్న్ నోట్స్ లను క్లాస్ రూమ్ లో కూర్చొని చదువుకున్నంత సీరియస్ చదువుకోవాలను ఇంకొకటి ఏమిటనగా ఈ యొక్క క్లాసులు విన్న వెంటనే అర్థం చేసుకుని ప్రాక్టీస్ చేయాలను ప్రాక్టీస్ చేయడం అంటే కేవలం చదవడం కాదు పేపర్ మీద రాయవలను అలాగైతే గుర్తుండిపోతుంది దీంతో పాటు మీ యొక్క నాలెడ్జ్ ని పరీక్షించుకున్న కొరకు త్వరలో ఫ్రీ ఫండ్ పరీక్షలు కూడా నిర్వహించబడు ఈ యొక్క అవకాశాన్ని సద్వినియోగం చేసుకోవాలని టెన్త్ చదివే విద్యార్థులకు విజ్ఞప్తి చేస్తున్నాను uh students here i am going to explain is the most important lesson of paper 2 the history the 21st lesson the movement for the formation of telangana state we will be understanding in depth how was telangana formed what are the reasons which are attributed to the formation of the telangana all these things will be getting into detail was there any uh, was there any discontent in the people of telangana how did telangana came how was andhra pradesh being segregated into two parts and sim andhra as well as telangana okay uh, now remember that during the last phase of the indian freedom hyderabad was under the rule of the nizams hyderabad was under the rule of the nizam rule and hyderabad became a democratic polity in the year 1952 so this is all about the history and what is the reason that the telangana state has to crop up wherein andhra pradesh andhra pradesh and telangana were both of them were a single state and why did what are the reasons that paved way for the movement of the telangana these are the this is the main content of the lesson and the topics which i am going to cover in this lesson majority of the contents in this lesson are this and the majority of the questions for the board exam point of view are going to come across and we are going to discuss each point which is being written here in detail so the first point is what were the reasons which paved way to the formation of the telangana state and the one of the most important reasons after a lot of discussions gentlemen's agreement was reached on february 20th 1956 even there was a con there was an uh, uh, structure which was being framed by the name as gentlemen's agreement even after this that was being framed in the year 1956 and what were the reasons for getting this gentlemen's agreement and how was it successful or not that was the first point we are going to discuss and coming to the next point discontent was growing and its causes even after the gentlemen's agreement what were the reasons for the discontent which were growing in the people of the telangana and what were the causes for that and what are the outcomes the result of the discontent in the people of telangana and the third one being the telangana agitation and what the result of this point to was a telangana agitation 1969 and what were the movement what were, how did this movement took across in what were the reasons and how did it go across was the point and after that as a result of 1960 in telangana agitation movement even andhra side the people started as join andhra movement in 1972 and what were the reasons for that and what were the outcomes of this movement and after that differences in access to water agriculture education and employment in the two regions will compare uh, about this employment opportunities access to water irrigational facilities in both the regions as well as andhra region as well as the telangana region okay and now coming back to the disparity means what the word disparity means differences differences of growth uh, between urban areas and agriculture what were the dis- what were the differences between the agricultural as well as the urban areas which are going across in in both of the two regions telangana as well as the sim andhra 
and now different roles taken by JACs and political parties in the formation of Telangana. What were the, how are the political parties and joint action committees, how did they pay way and what was their role in the formation of the Telangana state, we will discuss that point. And problems faced by the farmers, artisans of Telangana, what do you mean by artisans, all the different people like you know, Kummari Vallu, Cheti Pallu Chese Vallu, all these people put together you call them as the artisans, okay. And problems, what were the problems faced by the farmers? farmers, artisans of Telangana, how different works of people joined the movement and finally how did we get the how did we get the state which was being formed in 2014 June 2nd we got the Telangana state was formed. We all celebrate the Telangana day right with the utmost pride. So all these things we are going to discuss in this lesson this is, these are the points which are the these are the main topics which will enroll which are a part of your movement for the formation of telangana state these all points we are going to discuss in this lesson today now let's go on to the let's get on to the first topic what is the first topic uh, gentleman's agreement what is this word called as gentleman agreement what was is written in this gentleman's agreement let us come to the discuss about this gentleman's agreement we will focus on this topic what were the reasons i paved to the gentleman's agreement and what are the points what are the key points in the gentleman's agreement now, gentleman's agreement which was it was formed uh, on in the year 1956. It was formed in the year 1956 because there were so many differences which were cropping up very frequently, very rapidly uh, between the two regions of the people, the Simandra as well as the Telangana. There was a setup which was sit which was organized, which is initiated the central government of then central government. The main important political people of the Simandra as well as the people from Telangana were being called. And there was an, there was an agreement after uh, vigorous amounts of discussions, there was an agreement which was called as the gentleman's agreement, which was being formulated by both the people, by the, both the both political parties who were really influential of the both the regions and they agreed to that. And what are the key points of this gentleman's agreement? Let me put it across very clearly students, I am not going to the depth of the lesson but giving you the gist of all the contents of the lesson, putting in examination point of view the board exams I am putting across in view and I want to simplify the lesson and put it across and I am going to make them in chunks and present it before you. So this is what we are trying to do here, okay. Now in the process let us understand gentleman's agreement which was being formed in the year 1956 and what are the key points of gentleman's agreement. If you, if you look at the key points of the gentleman's agreement, obviously when the government is running all the tax pays and all we pay and there is a huge expenditure which is in crores and crores of rupees, millions and millions and crores of rupees and once the expenditure is coming, is coming across between the two states, the first point was how should the expenditure be spent on the two states was being decided, that was the first point. How was that being decided? Expenditure of administration to be borne proportionately by two regions. What did they say? Whatever the expenditure, whatever the income we get across, income is being generated in the form of the tax, we are being the taxpayers, we pay abundant amount of taxes and through the taxes only government get their income. And once you get the income, there are so many expenditure act, there are so many developmental activities, there is so much of expenditure which is run by both the regions of the people. What was first decided, generally any time the monetary issue always need to be solved. The same thing was has been done in the gentleman's agreement as the first point. Monetary issues means what? Money issues. Dabbukki sambandhin chin at twenty yekkada yevaru yella vyavahari kanga yella neva baddhanga upyogi in chali anadi. First point was in the part of the gentleman's agreement. What was decided? Expenditure of administration. Administration calls an expenditure of in income edete untundu. It should be distributed in the equal parts proportionally between the two regions. And if there is any surplus and echo, manam panichisada the migilna amount edete untundu that is called a surplus. A surplus amount, the surplus amount which is uh, left out that will be initiated, that will be diverted towards the development of Telangana region was the first point of gentleman's agreement. Hello students, myself Sunil Kumar Badal, I have done my B.Tech from IIT Kanpur. 
here at kevin karna classes i teach is chemistry so right now i know you all are busy with your board exam preparation but let me ask you a question suppose you want to be a cricketer who would you choose your coach a cricketer or a wrestler answer is definitely cricketer so in the same way here we are the group of itians an itian and doctor so if you really want to crack or get a seat into iit nit or any top medical colleges come here and join us what are you waiting for when you talk about gentlemen ante rendu pakkal nunchi ati vinayapurvakanga vidheyapurvakanga gnanavantamaina manushulni manu em antam gentlemen in english lo antam so between the two regions the gentlemen of the two regions sat and decided these three key points under the governance of the central government the first thing is the monetary issues the income which is being generated and the expenditure where we spend that will be equally distributed in the two regions of the people proportionately and the surplus amount which is being left in the income generated that will be utilized only for the development of telangana was the first point of the gentlemen's agreement and now coming back to the second point educational facilities to be reserved for the students from the region only as hyderabad is a part of telangana there were so many educational institutes not only in hyderabad you have very key and uh, uh, pioneer educational institutes in parts of telangana as well the main important the main the second most important point was the seats to be reserved in the educational institutions especially in the parts of the telangana precisely in hyderabad only for the students of telangana because people the students from andhra pradesh were coming across and they were uh, grabbing the seats of telangana students so to give the facilities proper educational facilities avail at proper educational facilities even to the telangana people that the second point strictly insists on one point what was that the telangana people the telangana students only strictly to be utilized uh, to be availing the opportunities to be availing the seats of the premium institutes of telangana but the, which wasn't being done and the third point being 12 years of residence in telangana were eligible for jobs and admissions to educational institutions what there should be a priority right as you write the je mains and msat uh, neat and all obviously you, you have a qualifying and a percentage as such there was a minimum uh, minimum minimum par which was being kept what was that what was did they say was a person who is a resident of telangana for not less than 12 years who should a person or a student should be a resident of telangana mandatorily for 12 years only will be eligible to avail the uh, to avail a seat in the educational institutions of telangana or any job opportunities of telangana kevalam 12 ellu ikkada kachithanga nivasam chesina tuvanti vyakti ki maatrame telangana prantalo unde tuvanti educational institutions lo kaani job opportunities lo kaani avakasam raavataniki kachithamaina avakasam vaallaki maatrame untundi this was the third point again which was not being done properly and the fourth point was the regional council the regional council with 20 members from legislative assembly to look into the development activities of the state every state should have a legislative members wherein they really focus on the development of that particular state so what was the main key point regional council means what a people from the people of the from this particular place of telangana 20 people 20 member people of regional council will be set up where they will be focusing on the development of telangana was being agreed but again that was not being delivered properly and the fifth point sale of land controlled by regional council if there is any land especially in the telangana region which has to be going for sale that only the regional council people who the 20 members regional council who are there they will only take it they will only take into consideration and they only will have the sole authority to take the decision was being agreed in the gentlemen's agreement but even that was not being done constructively or not delivered properly
and the fifth sixth point telangana members whenever you are forming the government whenever you form the government after the elections after whole of the protocol of the elections are being done who, what is the how will you form your legislative assembly what did the, what were the decided telangana people's the, the, the members of the telangana to be 40% and 60% from andhra pradesh if the chief minister is from andhra pradesh the deputy chief minister will be from telangana or vice versa what do you mean by that if the chief minister is from telangana then the deputy chief minister will be from andhra pradesh this was being strictly one of the point of gentlemen's agreement which was never appropriately followed and this this was ever being appropriately followed so obviously when all these six points which are the part of the gentlemen's agreement which were laid in the year 1956 were never followed obviously what will happen there will be so much amount of discontent which will really mount in the people of telangana so obviously for you to understand the main reason why the discontent started off you need to understand this this mandatory this point gentlemen's agreement which was formulated in the year 1956 you need to understand this points very well this question is going to be a very very important question a star mark question if you will not be able to understand this gentlemen's agreement the p the key points of six key points you will not be able to understand the other or the next part of the lesson so gentlemen's agreement was uh, was formulated in the year 1956 with utmost hope that at least after this gentleman agreement the telangana people will be given their rights but unfortunately the telangana people were not being given the proper rights they nobody followed this gentleman's agreement it it, it was by for names equal the gentleman's agreement but nothing has happened so this is a very important part of a lesson uh, of a very um, of a important lesson important part of a lesson the formation of telangana state and all these things so gentleman's agreement you'll have to go through this is a very important point you'll have to put across and when gentleman's agreement was not being done obviously when people do you think people will sit quiet nobody will sit quiet and what was the outcome of this gentleman's agreement when it was not being properly done there were so many agitation so many moments what among some some of the protests in telangana which happened were very important this is an this will come as an one mark answer this also will come what are the protests uh, the, you can you can get a question what are the protests when you can see the dhoom dams garjans పదయాత్ర అసెంబ్లీ ముట్టడి బోనాలు మిలియన్ మార్చ్ సకల జనుల సమ్మె ఎక్సెట్రా దీస్ వర్ ద ఫ్యూ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ అవుట్ కమ్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ దిస్ జెంటిల్మెన్ అగ్రిమెంట్ వర్స్ దిస్ ఐ నైన్ నైన్టీన్ సిక్స్టీ నైన్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ స్టార్టెడ్ దట్స్ బట్ వాట్ ఈస్ నైన్టీన్ సిక్స్టీ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ స్టార్టెడ్ దట్స్ అన్ అవుట్ కమ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ జెంటిల్మెన్స్ అగ్రిమెంట్ బట్ హౌ డిడ్ ద ఎడ్యుకేషన్ స్టార్ట్ అండ్ వాట్ వర్ ద ప్రొటెస్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ హ్యాపన్ దీస్ వాల్ ఆర్ ద ప్రొటెస్ విచ్ హ్యాస్ హ్యాపన్ as outcome of gentlemen's agreement now we will get on to the next and important topic after gentlemen's agreement is we'll have to there are so many topics which i said in the first uh, inter, in, in the introduction so the second topic we'll focus on is the discontent among telangana people and the reasons obviously we all knew no we all right now understood gentlemen's agreement but unfortunately once the gentlemen's agreement the six points were laid almost there were so many points but at least precisely six points were the important points not a single point was properly followed and the discontent in the telangana people kept on mounting ad roz roz ki din din abhivruddhi chendi perigi potune ochindi ekkada takkaledu and what are the reasons even are there any more reasons which attributed for the discontent of telangana people and what are those and you know surplus revenue was not spent on the development of telangana as in the gentlemen's agreement we have discussed that <coughs> the surplus revenue will be dedicated the surplus revenue will be diverted for the development of telangana which was not done 